how many of you have the belief that you need more money? Would you raise your hands? <laughs> okay, so let's, so let's put it to the test, okay? So, you need more money, is that true? Yes. The whole world would agree with you, or most of it. So you need more money. I invite you just to take a moment before you answer this. You need more money. Can you absolutely know that it's true that you need more money? Interesting question, huh? I mean, you haven't even stepped into the future. Can you absolutely know that you'll need more money? That you need more money. So how do you react when you believe that thought? And we're looking at stressful thoughts. How do you react when you believe the thought, I need more money, and you don't have more money? Did you know that no one has more money than they have? <laughs> and have you stopped to realize that there is not one moment that that is not true? That no one has more money than they have. So you can ask yourself, I need more money. Is that true in any moment? that you experience yourself in. So how do you react when you believe the thought, I need more money, and you don't have more money? What happens? More. Stress? Fear. Fear. Frustration. Frustration. Failure. Now, what pictures and images do you see when you think the thought, I need more money, and you don't have it? Negative. Negative. I mean, some of you even see yourself pushing shopping carts <laughs> as old people. <laughs> yeah. And you see yourself alone. What? You see those images? That's what happens when you believe the thought, I need more money, and feel it in your body. How does it, what do you experience in your body and where do you feel that thought, I need more money and you don't have it? And how much of your physical body does that take over? Do those feelings take over? Follow them, track them. Notice how you tense up. Maybe your chest tightens. So now, Notice your life, like today, or notice your, your life, period, as you have lived it in the past without the thought, I need more money. <coughs> Just watch, your, watch you on your job, watch you shopping, watch you at home without the thought, I need more money. Because there are two ways to live your life. One is stressed out, and the other is not. Either way, you don't have more money than you have. <laughs> I need more money, turn it around. What is the opposite? I don't need more money. Now, why would that be true? So let's start from this moment right now, which is the only place you're ever going to be. You're going to be wherever you are in that moment. And this is it. So right now, in this moment, turned around, I don't need more money. Now, why is that true right here, right now? Because you're living okay. Because you're living okay right here, right now. Because you're okay right here, right now. Yeah, you, you just had lunch. You're okay right here, right now. <laughs> In
and I invite you when you're, if you're ever stressed out over money, just to notice. You need more money right here, right now. Is that true? Now, I invite you to imagine yourself being evicted from your home and they've already driven your car away. They've taken everything from you because you couldn't pay your bills. Now, close your eyes and imagine yourself sitting out on the neighbor's lawn looking across at what used to be your house. Okay? Now, notice where you're sitting. Maybe it's on the curb or on the pavement or the asphalt. Now, ask yourself, get real. You need more money right now in this moment. Is it true? Do you need more money in that moment? Are you okay? You're sitting where you're sitting. The sky is beautiful. You're looking at what used to be your house and maybe you're feeling very grateful that you no longer have to pay the mortgage. <laughs> you always wanted to get in the habit of walking and you watch them drive your car away and you become grateful. <laughs> but seriously, Who would you be without your story as you are sitting on the cement, the asphalt, on the curb? Who would you be without the story, I need more money? As you notice the sky and the ground that's holding you, the breeze, the flowers that you did nothing for, it's all given, it's a state of grace. It's a state of grace. So with or without money, we have a right to be happy. That's our birthright. If peace is dependent on arms and legs and houses and cars, then there's no possibility of peace. But in my experience, peace has no conditions. And it's a matter of what is true and what is not, the difference between imagination and reality. And that's what this work is about, you know, what is imagined and what is real. And what is real, in other words, reality, I've come to see it is always kind, that's its nature. But when we superimpose our stories upon what is beautiful, fear happens and we question what we believe about reality. Pretty simple, huh?